Hey guys, I'm gonna play a tune called The Made at the Well. Um, and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently on this one because I first learned this tune in the key of A. Um, played it with the folks that I learned it from at A and it all seemed well. And then I played it at a different session and everybody was appalled and thought it was always in G. Uh, so I learned it in G too, just because it seems like there's lots of people who play it in both keys. So uh, I'm gonna play the tune first in G and then uh, play it again in A. Uh, you'd never do that at a session. Don't do that at a session, but just to illustrate the point, uh, I'm gonna do it that way here so you can hear it in both keys. And then I'll go through and break it down both ways. So made it the well. So you can decide for yourself which key you like better and you know maybe see who's playing it around you and see what kind of what, what key they played in so that's kind of a big deciding factor more often than not um, so figure out which one you like the best and go with that i suppose but i'm going to play it both ways here i'll start off in g and i'm going to play just the basic melody i'm going to play it slowly but i'm not going to break down each piece uh, just because i'm going to be doing it in two different keys and it would be end up kind of being a really long video. So I'll go through just the basic melody, then I'll kind of hit a few of the ornaments uh, that I like to do, depending on which key I'm playing it in, because the fingerings are different, of course. So, so here we go, first of all in G. So that's the whole A part. Again, I'm not gonna break down each individual chunk here because we'll be here all day, but at least you can start with that and, uh, and hopefully figure that, that bit out as well. So now the B part uh, jumps up to the high G. The B part, to my ear anyway, the tricky part is are the arpeggios that it kind of does in the beginning. Even though it's repetitive, those are the types of things that always drove me crazy when I was learning tunes. So if that's driving you crazy, I would sit down and slowly work on just that part. So you can get that down because that's kind of a key part of the, the tune. Anyway, so that's the whole thing through A and B. Now I'll play it in, in the key of A as well, do the same kind of thing, breaking down just the melody. Uh, before we get into the ornaments here. So here we go with the A part. So there's the A part. And again, we're jumping up an octave, in this case, in the B part. So there we go with the B part. Um, so again, kind of play play whichever um, fingering feels better. I would say, you know, typically the A tunes are harder on the tin whistle, but there's only that one G sharp you have to worry about, and it's kind of even optional. So that's really the tricky part with tunes in A. So play what you like. Uh, so now, as far as the ornaments go, I'll start it off with the G uh, the, the G version. You can kind of do a, a cran on that, which I do sometimes. You can do it either way. And that's where I do that um, 
crossing noise or, or finger bounce or whatever you want to call it. Um, just kind of gives that note a little bit of an extra pop, which on the jig seems to work pretty well. Uh, on the B part, you gotta do, because you have those arpeggios, it's kind of nice to break it up a little bit. You can play it just straight, or just do that extra triplet in there. And again with that, because it's kind of the same, the same part. Um, so those are a couple things that work pretty well in G. There's similar things you do in A, but because it's, it's positioned in a different spot, some things become more available to you than others. So um, you can do that, uh, that triple roll. I rarely do crans on the A, or on the E rather. Just never sounded that great to me, so I do the triple roll instead. Um, um, um. Again, I do that, that same finger bounce. Down. Something like that. Now, on the arpeggios on the A part, or on the B part rather, in the key of A, confuse myself. The only thing I really do there is just kind of a slide on the A. Um, so that's what I like to do with it. Uh, see if you can track down some recordings of it. I think it's a, a reasonably popular tune, so you should be able to find other versions of it uh, probably out on YouTube. And if you've got any questions or requests for something else, definitely let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much, y'all. Bye-bye.